Juventus were one half of the duo that had a starring role to play in last season's narrative. No doubt they will be looking to ensure that that narrative stays very much the same this season and winning here would certainly be a great start. Their expectations for this Super Cup are high and rightly so. The Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. Well, Jim, you've had a good chance to look at the teams. How are you feeling about this one? It falls somewhere in between friendly and, and fully competitive, I would say. Yes, you want to win a trophy, but you also know that it won't be the end of the world if you don't. I think pressure levels are, are lower, but then your competitive edge can't allow you to make it too easy for the opposition. So you have to give this what it demands. So we're up and running. Berateski. Berateski. Berateski with the cross. Ospina deals with it effortlessly. Yunus. Fauzi Gulam. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Younes. Milik. Over to the left. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Lorenzo Insigne. And it's got through. Lorenzo Insigne. That has sent him sprawling. And he's straight offside. Quadrado. De Ligt. And they've been caught out here. Milik. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Decent looking ball. Now it's Insigne. Lorenzo Insigne. Zielinski spreads it towards the left. Shoots! Tries to get it clear. Another chance! It's anyone's ball. Oh, real danger here. Tries a shot! Goal! Napoli! Could that be the start of something big? And it has to be said, an absolute gift.
Napoli have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? And it's played forward. Got offside that time. Receives it from behind. Dybala. Alexandro goes looking. It's a promising ball. Done very well to intervene. And here's Dybala. Cristiano Ronaldo has a hit! There it is! They have come roaring back! That was a given. It always was. Cristiano Ronaldo is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. The referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, we thought this would be close, Peter, and it's, it's proven us right so far. They're well matched, and it, it presents a, a fascinating battle of wits to see who will emerge on top or, or otherwise. It's been a really interesting game up to now, and the sides are predictably very well matched. Hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half, but as it stands, it's one each. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Changes made by neither side, from what we understand. Now a chance to break. Questions were asked, and he's given the answers. Paolo Dybala really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Plays it through. Finds himself eased off the ball. Forward it goes. Uh, needed a better pass there. Defence has got rid of that. Zielinski has set up one goal so far. Quadrado goes upfield. Younes. Oh, some clever movement up front. Yeah, they're playing with a, a false nine, and no one's really holding a fixed position up there. And how does that work? Well, I think it's an attempt to just confuse this defence with, with constant interchange and, and different movement. He's left his man. He's through. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. Alexandro. Juventus to retain the ball, but are seemingly in no rush to break. Little doubt, that is a foul. And that's going to be a booking.
So here comes the substitution. It's going to be a double change then. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Bentancur. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! And that's off target. Juventus really have been deserted by their composure and allowed frustration to take over, and it's not a good sign. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who levels to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. The final five minutes. Manolas looks to get on the end of this. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo! He's done very well to get to that. Cristiano Ronaldo simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Sit forward. Milik has made his mark on this game. And it's Manolas. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Yeah, and it's been a contest between two sides that were evenly matched on the day. Neither deserves to be on the losing side. So a brief breather, and then extra time. So our quest to find the winner continues. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And it's played forward, chance to break. It's the through ball. Oh, whistle's gone, now then! And he could not have picked a worse time to give one away. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Well, there was only one outcome. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side.
Napoli take the lead. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Milik. Hoists it high. Chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. Quadrado. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and having played his part in the goal, a tightening up was inevitable. Dybala going through. Arthur. He's reached the midway point in extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? It has been a slugfest. Significant blows landed, but still no knockout. Manolas. Koulibaly. Zielinski. And it's Dybala. Bentancur. And he just whacks it away. Ramsey drives it forward. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Disappointing finish in the end. Lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. for a change of personnel. Politano. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Politano with the cross. And he's going long. Uh, that looks a foul. The referee's given it. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. <laughs> Juventus are. Juventus all at the final hurdle. They gave it everything, but it was a bridge too far. And so it ends in pain as the glory goes elsewhere. So much endeavour, so much expectation, so little ultimate reward. Yeah, Peter, I've been in this position, and it's a horrible part of the game to get so close.